This type of conduct obviously cannot be tolerated anywhere in our society. But Two former police officers are facing criminal charges and the ire of the district attorney and their former chief after being charged with spray painting a swastika inside a car. 29-year-old Christopher Tomsick and 28-year-old Cody Weldon are the former Torrance officers who have pleaded not guilty to charges of felony vandalism and conspiracy to commit vandalism. The city says both left the department in 2020, but they're not the only cops in trouble. The DA says the investigation revealed at least 13 other officers exchanging racist, homophobic, and anti-Semitic messages. They're all now on administrative leave. Let me be clear. I will aggressively pursue any form of racism, bigotry, hate, or misconduct at the Torrance Police Department. It's unacceptable, but it becomes doubly unacceptable when we have the people that are sworn to protect all of us to engage in this behavior. DA George Gascon says he is still considering if the charges reach the threshold of a hate crime. In a statement, the Anti-Defamation League said, no matter the source of hate, we must stand up and denounce it. We are heartened that these officers are facing consequences for their reported hateful actions. Torrance's mayor echoed the condemnation. To me, it's, it's sickening to even think that uh, uh, anyone would do that, let alone a, a sworn police officer and an officer of the Torrance Police Department. Gascon has made it clear he has a mission to hold cops accountable, but some legal experts say a vandalism charge is not exactly what his supporters might be looking for. Some people will say, you got the low hanging fruit, but we wanna see if you're really gonna make a change in police culture, if you're really gonna go after the tough cases, which is improper use of force. And even his critics, who say he's soft on crime, are judging the charges, saying they're more typical of a politician than a prosecutor. Steve Cooley is a former well, L.A. district this. attorney Please himself. Out. The bad guys are out, and uh, Gaston's having press conferences regarding relatively minor offenses because he wants to play holier than that. The DA says he will now also look into hundreds of cases the former officers were involved in to make sure there was no other alleged misconduct. In Torrance, I'm Lori Perez, KCAL 9 News.